Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making y'all a Spam sandwich. A delicious Spam sandwich with grilled white onions. And here's the things I'll be using. I'll be using some honey white bread. I mean, that's your choice. And the reason I chose this honey white bread is because it's more wider and it's thicker. So that's why I chose that. Some extra virgin olive oil, some mustard, a yellow onion or some white onion. I think I'll be using white grilled onions. Some G Dijon mustard or regular mustard, I said that. Butter and from a bread, I'll be using Spam. This is Spam, I'll be using just plain Spam. Some of them is low sodium, but I like this better for a sandwich. Here's some white American cheese, pepper jack cheese, green onions, here's cherry, these two types of pickles, the sliced dill, and these are just uh, regular pickles. Okay, I'll be getting back with you when I start to prepare. Okay, the first thing I'll be putting is a little oil in it. Like I said, I'm choosing extra virgin olive oil. Normally I use a vegetable oil, but I'll try some of this today. Okay, put it on the skillet. And this is the first thing we do. I'll be grilling my onions in here. First thing, because it'll take spam long to cook. But when you're cooking your spam, make sure you get a pound of charcoal on it. So I'm going to be slicing my onion. You do your onion round or like this right here. I'm just slicing them and put them in here. And let them cook first, because it don't take spam. It's already cooked. So you know you're not worried about that. Put these in here. How y'all doing out there? Have y'all been... You can bring in some subscribers to me. I'm almost on that 60. I don't need very much, many more. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these in here, let them cook a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna slice my, uh, my spam. You know, sandwich side, it don't matter. And I'll be using, I'll put this in there, I slice my, I get about eight slices out of this one can, so I'll slice that by my onion grill. Just gonna slice this to a sandwich size. See, you should get be able to get about eight slices for a sandwich out of can. Yeah. And get four slices out of it. I hope I mean four sandwiches. Okay. Okay, that's about it. And I'll get back with you while the onions grilling over here. My onions have brown, like I want them to. I'm gonna let them stay in here while I put some of this spam in here. I'm gonna take and put it in here. And just get it, put it on the side, and I'm gonna let it cook. You know, spam is already done, so all you want to do is get that and cut it down low so you can steam all the way through it. You're just gonna get that charcoal in it. it take some of that, you know, that spam taste out, but it's gonna be a good sandwich, honey. If you never did it, they had one like this plant, Natalie. I was hungry one day and I had some spam. And you know, I, don't, I, I like spam, but if I fix it like this, I like it. But this is not one of my favorite uh, meats. And I said, I'm going to fix this up to make, make it taste good. And that's what I did. And I did it like this. I'm going to let these onions stay over there and finish cooking. Once these brown, I'm going to turn them over. And get that. This is a simple video. Tastes good. And it's very simple, not long, it takes a little time, but uh, this way you should kind of brown If you want it darker, that's up to you. You get some of that munch meat, that spam taste out, it make it taste that good. So I always grill mine, and then make it on its own grease, the little grease that I had in for the uh, onion. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these onions, here's my onions, I'm gonna put them back in here in here and I'm gonna get ready to make my bread. I'm gonna let this stay warm. I'm gonna set this aside because I want my onions to be hot too. This is gonna be so good, y'all. I know you can I can you can see it. Okay then. Hey y'all I'm getting ready to butter my bread. And I think I'll just do one side because I don't want this sandwich really wet. But butter real good so you can get that pretty color. You know presentation is the key. It makes food, even if it don't taste good. If it looks good, that's what people are looking for, that good look, and that's what I try to do. I try to make my food taste good and look good and have it very clean so you can enjoy it. So I'm gonna butter all this bread and I'm gonna put it in that in a skillet. You wanna put it in a skillet or a pan that don't stick. You know, don't stick. 
and have it kind of warm because you know if you put it in when it's warm the bread will start cooking then you turn it down low make sure you butter all the ends on it because i like my butter all the way on my bread okay i'm gonna put, set this in the skillet over here so you hear that frown but i want it to be made a little harder um, Maybe put three in here. See so if I can get four. Oh, I can get four. Oh, I just want to have that good, um, that um, crisp look. Probably could have turned them up that away than this. Okay. I'm gonna get when these brown a little bit. I'm gonna turn them over. I'm gonna put the meat on there and be ready to serve. It. I'm gonna set the um, hot um, spam on each sandwich so I can. Uh, Put my cheese on it. I don't like putting my cheese on my bread sometimes because I like for you know the taste. I'm gonna put pepper jack and American on each one of them. Once. And then I'm gonna take my uh, I'm gonna take my sliced onions and put it on top of here. It don't matter how you do it. It's going to taste the same. I probably should have put the, the onions on, but that don't matter as long as it's a lot of them because I love those onions on my sandwich. I'm going to put some pickles on it. And if you want to, you can put mustard on it. It's up to you. You can put mayonnaise on it, mustard. I might put a little mustard on mine. I might not. I think right now these onions and stuff look so good, so I'm going to let it stay just like this. This is so good. I'm not going to put mess it up. Put some of them pickles on it and call it a day. The meat, uh, this is my little presentation of my ham sandwich ghetto style from Maddie's Kitchen. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen and enjoying my delicious spam sandwich with me. I hope you like enjoyed this presentation, honey. It tastes so good. Share this sandwich with others and make sure if you like this presentation, make sure you tune in to the next one. Once again, thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day.